Quad 4 is out, and I want to talk about it. I got early access. Specifically, I got early access to Opus. It's a phenomenal model, and I want to tell you about it. But it's really easy to say, it's a phenomenal model. I want to give you some meaningful differences that I'm observing and reflecting on versus particularly ChatGPT-03 and Gemini 2.5 Pro. Those are the other models that I think are in a similar class. In this situation, the places where I think Claude 4 really shines are at coding and at working within the integration environment that Claude sets up in the chat itself. I know that it is relatively easy for people with a coding background to build in fully integrated LLM applications now that can do things like search your email or handle your calendar. But if you are someone who doesn't know how to do that or has never worked with code before, it is an absolute breakthrough to have a model that is not only integrated natively with Gmail and Gcal, but which also is able to operate against them successfully at very complex tasks. This was something I actually called out uh, when Claude 3.7 came out and Gcal and Gmail were integrated. I really, really tried to make that integration work for me. I wanted to build a custom dashboard for my next day. I wanted to sort of show like, what are my calendar conflicts? Where do I have email insights that feed into the calendar? I had all these dreams. None of that worked with Sonnet 3.7. It just wasn't good enough. It was short on searching the email and calendar in particular. I got the sense it wasn't necessarily intelligence. I got the sense it was a lot of it was just like, they just didn't have the tokens to push through and call. That's been resolved now. I add the same challenge for Claude 4, because why not be consistent? And Claude 4 came through and it built in one shot exactly what I wanted and more. It was able to identify strategic issues stemming from email and calendar that I needed to pay attention to that might not have been flagged in my brain otherwise. It identified calendar conflicts. It was able to color code meetings on its own. This one's critical, right? It did all of that and produced a fully functioning app in about 180 seconds. It was really impressive. And then it went through and did a very complex email analysis task for me. And so I don't want to undersell that. I think people look at it and they say, well, technically you can do Gmail and calendar integration with other tools for ChatGPT or for Gemini. That is all true. But having a cutting edge reasoning model like this with native one click slide the toggle integration is a really big deal. It is something that is going to be really, really worth it to me because literally I have daily application for it. I just need to build the briefing for tomorrow, right? It becomes something that is much closer to a personal assistant. And this is where some of those differences start to emerge. If Claude is framed as a personal assistant, O3 is powerful because of the memory feature, which is also a personal thing, but a different kind of personal thing. I really enjoy that ChatGPT has memory. I know people have very mixed feelings about this, but I find it really useful. I can refer back to previous conversations, even if it's not perfect, it's very helpful. I also find that O3 is extremely rigorous and logical, and I appreciate that for certain tasks. It helps me to think through complex ideas in a way that other models don't right now. Gemini 2.5 Pro, the large context window is helpful. I appreciate that the team there is shipping quickly. I think they just launched uh, another deep research product in their AI Ultra package yesterday or the day before. I lose track. It's all evolving so fast. Um, and it's very good at coding. It's also good at sort of thinking through larger context windows and really understanding what's going on. And so when I look at this model suite overall, Right now, if I had to pick bundles that I would be willing to pay for, I think ChatGPT Pro, the memory feature and everyday model I would reach for makes a ton of sense. I think Claude, with this release, with Claude 4, is making a strong case as a personal assistant with Claude 4 uh, accessing your Gmail and your calendar. There's a lot you can do there. And actually, it would be much more powerful if they would allow Claude to write back. And I expect them to do that soon. 
But regardless, it's a strong model. It's also a good coding model, and I don't want to undersell that here. I think it's notable that the Anthropic team is continuing their tradition of building on coding models. Uh, so it launched today in lovable.dev. It launched in Cursor. I don't think it's out in Windsurf, but I think it will be soon. And the point is, if you want to do a complex coding task that requires a lot of sequential thinking, like multi-step reasoning, Claude 4 is a great choice. It goes beyond just an outline of thought and then reasoning and then self-reflection and then results. I actually have seen it in solving tasks go step after step after step consistently. And that shows up in the way Dario Amade talked about the model. Apparently during testing, they were able to solve a, a coding challenge that took seven hours for the model to solve independently. If that holds up, that's a new record for independent work by an agent. Seven hours is a really long time for an AI agent to work independently. And if we are getting to the point where we can measure in longer chunks of hours, there's a lot more interesting tasks that we can give to these models. And that's another area where I don't think we've begun to scratch the surface of what Claude 4 can do. And I look forward to seeing in the next few days kind of how that starts to evolve as I play with it more, as others play with it more. And so for now, if you take anything away from this, take away the idea that Claude 4 is very, very strong at autonomous multi-step coding and thinking, which I called out, and also take away that product insight that they are choosing to release it with a native integration. Uh, it has web search, GCAL, Gmail. Um, I think it has G Drive integration, so you can search across your docs as well. This is powerful stuff. This makes it a strong reasoning model that is focused on where we spend a lot of our time. I think if they added Slack, it would be even more powerful, right? But taking all of that in stride, you want to be in a place where you can use these reasoning models and actually get value back. And that's what I want to call out. So be really honest with yourself. Is this an everyday reasoning model for you? Is this a special occasion model? For me, I've been pretty transparent. I think O3 is a pretty powerful model for logical thinking. I appreciate the memory. Uh, and Claude 4 is something I'm still living into, but it looks incredible for complex coding tasks. And it looks really, really good as a daily personal assistant. And so I might end up being a two model person and orchestrating between them. You need to decide what's worth it for you, but I wanted to give you a sense these are all great models. There's not really a bad choice, but understand some of the nuances that you would get as you dig into this. I'll add one more tidbat, tidbit. Claude 4 Opus seems to be very good at understanding writing, but I am not yet as convinced of its writing ability. And I want to kind of like tease that apart because it may have phenomenal reading comprehension skills and I still need to understand how it writes. And so that's an area of active investigation for me. Cheers.